Hey guys, Brandon Baum here. Today I'm going to be breaking down exactly how I made this. Brandon, do you want me to go Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so to create this visual effect, the first thing we'll need to do is look at all the elements we'll need to bring it together. Up first was the shot of my friend Woody and I jumping on the trampoline. On cue, I had Woody double bounce me whilst I extended my arms and legs out. Next up, we shot the landing. For this one, I simply rocked backwards and Woody reacted as if I just hit the trampoline at speed. To create the aerial view, I used my Phantom 4 drone. I launched it up into the sky, tilted the camera up when it was high, and then tilted it back down as it started its descent. Woody was down on the trampoline the whole time, reacting to me as if he was watching me fly. Lastly, we needed to fill my body to overlay this drone footage. To do this, I dangled beneath the tree placing a large green screen beneath me. Now I used a green screen to achieve this but you guys at home can use any plain colour material or blanket to achieve the exact same effect. I had my mum fire a leaf blower over me to give the effect that my clothes were getting caught up in the wind. Now as I needed my arms to hold me up I needed to shoot one last layer with just my arms. So I threw the green screen over the table, put the phone back in my mouth and shot that last layer. And finally we're ready to get in the edit. So we're going to start the process by importing all of our clips inside video leap. Next up we want to reorder the clips. I'm going to reposition them so the shot of me jumping up on the trampoline is our first clip and the shot of me landing on the trampoline our last. And then I'm going to trim this first clip a few frames just after Woody double bounces me. Then we're going to do the opposite for the last clip and trim it just as I land on the trampoline. Up next, we want to take our drone layer and speed it up. So I'm going to select on the clip, hit speed, and then go to the max at times five. This now looks a little bit closer to what it looked like if a human went shooting up and came crashing back down. I'm just going to slightly trim our drone layer so it starts as soon as the drone starts to lift off. Great, now it's time to start overlaying our body parts. First, we're going to take the shot of our torso and legs and drag that on top of our drone layer. Next up, we're going to select on chroma, select on a green section of the clip and it's going to key out everything else in the shot except our body and torso. Now as the drone camera tilts up looking at the horizon we'll need to animate our legs and torso coming out of shot. To do this we're going to add a keyframe at the first frame where we notice the camera is starting to tilt up. Then we're going to find a frame where we think our legs and torso would be completely out of shot and then drag it down. This is automatically going to create our second keyframe for us. Now as the drone starts crashing back down again we need to do the reverse and animate our legs coming back into shot when the camera starts tilting down. Then we're going to move forward and find the place where the drone's looking completely down and drag our legs back in. So so our legs and torso are fully in shot now. Now we need to repeat this entire process again for our arms. So let's start by dragging the arms on top of both layers and keying out the green. We're going to do this by pressing chroma and yet again selecting the green section of the shot. We're going to find that exact same frame yet again when the camera starts to tilt up and create that second keyframe. Then we're going to scrub forward to where we believe our arms would be fully out of shot and then move them down. Yet again this is going to create our second keyframe. Now we're going to scrub forward again and find the point where we believe our arms should start coming in shot and create a keyframe. Then we'll move forward to the point the drone's pointing completely down and drag our arms back in shot. Let's have a little watch and see what we've got so far. Now we want to end both these green screen shots as I land on the trampoline so it doesn't carry on to the next shot. So we're going to select on both of them, hit split and delete the last layer. So we're almost there and it's looking incredible already. We're going to select on the section between our two clips and hit the dissolve button. This is going to add a small fade between the two clips making the transition even cleaner. We want to change this duration to 0.2 seconds to make it happen really quickly. We're going to repeat this again for our landing shot. Then when we put all of this together, finally we have this. Brandon, do you want me to go back? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, 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 I like it. <laughs> I want to see you guys at home recreate this visual effect. Upload your versions to TikTok and Instagram using hashtag video leap challenge and tagging brand underscore bam. I'll be uploading a few of my favorites onto my social medias. So guys, good luck.